Mathematica is a series of machines and displays that visually demonstrate mathematical concepts. So Mathematica, there's an important part of the title we're missing there. It's uh, a world of numbers and beyond. And so Mathematica is really about the abstract qualities of math and math as it surrounds us in the natural world, math of the everyday. Concepts that are explored, some of the analogies that are made in the exhibit that would allow people to literally see elements of their everyday life just differently, sort of understand some of the underpinnings. Mathematica um, is an exhibit that was created uh, originally in 1961, designed by Charles and Ray Eames. Charles and Ray Eames were approached by IBM to create a mathematics exhibit in the late 1950s. That began a deep dive of learning for the couple and their team. Interaction is really important, and Charles and Ray Eames found ways in this exhibit that you could learn mathematical principles by seeing them unfold in front of you. If you, you come to the uh, Collecting Eames exhibition, you'll see that Charles and Ray did more than design furniture. Uh, they also were very good in the presentation of ideas. Uh, I think that if they were to describe themselves towards the end of their career, they'd say we're tradesmen, people hire us to solve problems. And uh, this is a delightful uh, 1960s timeline that Charles and Rames and the office devised for IBM. A curve that crosses itself once behaves differently. And no matter how hard it tries, it cannot become a simple curve. This is just a taste of topology. Just as 2 plus 3 is part of arithmetic, and bisecting an angle is a part of geometry, so problems of inside and outside are a part of topology. This is our square wheel tricycle exhibit, and what's so surprising about it is that you can ride on bicycles that have square wheels, and your ride is perfectly smooth. The secret is the design. The wheels and the bumpy surface they ride on fit together with mathematical precision. For all you math mavens, it has to do with what's called a catenary curve. 